So you made it back for day two. That's good. How are you doing? So here we go. So this is uh, day two. It's called the sounds of the sounds of silence, and the Bible reading is from Psalm five. Okay. So Psalm five verse three says this: Lord, every morning you hear my voice. Every morning I tell you what I need, and I wait for your answer. Go read that again. So Psalm five verse three says, Lord. Every morning you hear my voice. Every morning I tell you what I need and I wait for your answer. Did you know that you could be right next to someone in space shouting at the top of your lungs and that person wouldn't hear a thing? That's not because those space helmets get in the way, it's because voices travel as sound waves and sound waves need something to travel on like the atmosphere on Earth. Since there's no atmosphere in space, sound waves have nothing to travel on. So astronauts have to talk to each other using a different kind of wave, radio waves, which don't need atmosphere to carry them. But God doesn't need sound waves or even radio waves to hear us. That's because prayers carry our voices to God. So if the God who created the entire universe is ready to listen to whatever we have to say, why don't we pray more? At least part of the answer is that we get distracted and busy. The busyness of school, church, sports, family, friends and a zillion other things gets in the way. Then there's texting and video games and TV shows and movies and computer work. On average, we spend almost eight hours a day staring at some sort of screen, like a TV, an iPad, a computer or a phone. That's 60 hours every week. Flipping hell, that's a lot of time, isn't it? In the middle of all of these fun, cool and exciting things, God calls us to, according to Psalm 46, verse 10, be still and pray to him. Praying is when we praise God for who he is, thank him for all he's given us and ask him for what we need. Try it today. Well, we're going to try it in a moment. Find a special place where you can be alone with God in a tree house or in a corner of your room or even in a bubble bath. Be still, talk to God and listen for him to answer. And remember, God usually speaks with a still small voice So be sure to listen closely. So here's the fact for the day. Well, the fact for the day actually should have got this prepared is praying was so important that Jesus, God's own son, took time to pray. Check out some of the ways Jesus prayed. In fact, we're not going to look this up now, but maybe tomorrow you might look, find out the different places or times Jesus prayed. Because it's interesting, loads of different ways in which he did it. Anyway, shall we pray? So I want you to be still, I've got my stopwatch so I don't go on too long. Let's be still then, as that that Psalm 46 says, and you may want to close your eyes, take a deep breath and relax, and remember God is here. And let's start by praying, let's say a few thank yous. What are you thankful for, for today? Think back through the day. What was the best thing about the day? And I want to encourage you to say out loud father thank you for and then to name what was the best thing you might even want to press pause afterwards and explain to your mum or your dad whoever's with you like why it was the best thing and maybe even explain it to god chat to him and say god this is why it was the best thing then when you've done that maybe you want to think back to the day again what didn't go as well as you'd like it to what was really hard what Do you wish you could do again? And again, this time inside yourself, say, Father, I'm really sorry about, and name the thing. Now, what I want us to do is I want us to pray for some other people. So are there some people or some situations that you know about that could really need God's help? I want you to say, Father, please would you help and name them. Maybe tell God a bit about the situation. He knows it, but just it kind of helps for you to tell him. Then again, I want you to take your stones and just what are the things that are like weights that you carry that you're worried about? Do you want to name, Father, I'm really worried or I need help with this. And just go work your way through your stones. I've got four. You can have 24 if you want, or you can just have one. It's fine. Just hand them to God and leave them with him. Father, help. Give you a bit of space to do that. And 
when you've done that, I want to encourage you just to be still. Maybe you want to take a deep breath and relax. And just sit with God like you'd be sat with a friend, not chatting, just being and relax. And maybe he's got some things he wants to whisper to you. And as we come to an end, let's ask him for a good night's sleep. And we'll say, Father, please help me to rest well in your love. Amen. See you tomorrow. Have a good night's sleep. God bless.